Bank Holiday Monday. For most people, a day of outdoor pleasures in the sunshine. At the shabby Victorian villa, beside the busy London to Oxford Road, a day much the same as usual. Arthur Hathaway, 93, has lived in this house for 60 years. Born and bred in High Wycombe, his working life has been spent in the furniture industry. Most of the furniture in the house has been made by his own hand. Arthur, a widower, spends his time recreating the Buckinghamshire scenes he knows and loves so well. Arthur has never had a painting lesson in his life. He just had to paint. Putting brush to canvas is difficult now, as Arthur's eyesight is failing. However, he looks forward to an eye operation, which, he hopes, will provide some further years in which to paint. He's not lonely. At least once a week, relatives visit, usually to take Arthur out to supper. I was born 29th of July, 1880. Number 8, Desborough Street. Out me, I work on box. <laughs> That's uh, my ne ne well, it'd be my great nephews, uh, children along with what you use, Bradnam. We're all just catch on the edge, like that. I was like, just put a little rosy, just a, a, a direct light, you see. I don't remember the time when I was drawn, right from a kiddie. And I haven't been married long. Well, I said, well, you'd be always a, a drawn. I wish you'd paint. I said, don't no, no, make mixing colours. Well, I said, I want mixing. I got hundreds down at the shop. <laughs> I thought I'd paint them straight away without any mixing. Don't ask me what it was like. Then I started copying one or two. I was always at drawing out of doors. So then I used to do it too. Well, I, I, I want to work from a sketch. I don't want to make up a picture. I can't see anything in it. I give me a sketch, but my knees. Same as snow, you'll see it when it's, uh, in the daytime when it's just tinted with the sun. You see a little yellow, you see an old brush towards evening, that's just a rosy tint or orange tint, according to the light. Well, you get your yellow ochre and your light red, and well, your white, and some place you got just a bit shaded, different colours. Yeah. According to the time of day. Uh, that's uh, the river store near Christchurch. We went for a week then there, one of my friends. Back in my nephew's place, the Beehive. And uh, Derek Scott's come. I've had several there. I said, every smell, I was looking to see that coming when that's under six inches of snow with that bracken and they fir trees. And of course that was night time. And I said, uh, stood on one side out of the way so I could take a, 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 a sketch of it and uh, take notes out of the light, catch the trees and that. And that, the rates, you cost me two shillings a week. <laughs> and, and of course that's, that's how it wrote to you. Well, it wasn't so much when I come here. Second week in January, 1913. This year was assessed at 11 pound for you. 
<laughs> Skipper's Navy Cup. I say, why I always take the one sore? Your pipe is like your teacup. If you had tea, coffee, and cocoa, could tell you never washed it, you wouldn't know what you're drinking. That's the same with your tobacco. Anybody keeps changing it, they don't know the flavour of either. You can't do it, it's impossible. That used to be one and three, punch four ounce tin. <laughs> now that's eight shillings an ounce. <laughs> Well, but it's so I say, why don't you let your rooms, but as soon as you do that, it's your own home. I still live in a little, one of little castle room up and down on my own. I like to see a morning scene. I tell you for a boy, I've gone in there, but as soon as I get out of the bed, put my tray down, you straight to the bed, and of course we got the boo right round. You study at that, of course there's not two alike, I know, but there's some so near alike, if you are studying all the while, you wouldn't notice the difference. Not the Royal Academy, nor the Paris Salon, just High Wycombe Public Library. But it's Arthur's exhibition amongst Arthur's friends. Present are the Librarian, Mayor and Member of Parliament. I never had a lesson of any description. When I first went to the Royal Academy, I said to the wife, I'm going to get one here without having a lesson of seeing out of my pages, there's some hopes. I took my first picture up in 1914. We took three up each year afterwards. Then in 1936, no, 1937, I had two peas. I had two the next year, one the next. Well, then, 94, I had one on. Then I had no one on. It's the next year. They had two peas beside that. Chapman there, he says, uh, he says, you'll never get another one unless you have an exhibition of your own. So, I said, well, what was that then? Well, so when you send a picture here, they don't know whether you've had help with it or not. And I say, did you only get your two? Well, he said, when you paid your expense, it won't be much change out of 100 pounds, but you said, paid, you've got something of your own, and you've got uh, atmosphere in your world. And you say, you never had a lesson. No, I said, I had to paint. I said, I smashed three easels up. <laughs> and I said, uh, and I burnt three sets of brushes. Well, then, I, then I had to come back to it. I said, wife cried the first time. Third time she laughed. I said, go on, smash it up, Father. You'll come back to it. Get up for a moment. I said, only have a temporary one if I was you. After about ten months, I went on making my furniture because I made most of that stuff. When I was a maker, he said, Ah, oh, there I said, Hello, what's on the board? So I'll make it temporary. Won't take one takes so long to smash it up. <laughs> Well, it's been a bit fun. 